Welcome to NASDAQ Philex. The Philadelphia Stock Exchange is the first exchange to operate in the United States with its origins dating back to the 1700s. I'm Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ, and together we are going to explore the rich history of the exchange as well as the ties into the community of Philadelphia. We're also going to meet with past and present floor brokers and traders and dive deep into the technology that drives the NASDAQ Philex today. In the spring of 1790, a group of founding fathers decided to organize an exchange to guarantee buyer versus seller for U.S. Treasury bonds. That exchange developed what was called the Philadelphia Board of Brokers. It opened for trading on April 5, 1790. Trading limited to U.S. Treasury bonds soon grew to other types of debt classes, municipal bonds, private bonds, and yes, eventually one day stocks and companies that we see in modern trading today. Uh, you know, it was not like an environment that exists anywhere else, in my opinion, in the world of business. You would often have many brokers in your crowd soliciting markets um, with news coming out left and right. Everything was manual. So executing trades was manual. The floor brokers had to run trades out. We did receive them electronically, but all of the executions were still manually done by the specialist. I mean, we used to run our trading sheets. You didn't have computers in the crowd to look at fair values. and. At one point, we probably traded with my specialist unit 100, and, 100 plus books. So we had all orders manually. They would print off. We'd have to, the clerk would rip them, hand them out, organize them on the book. And as the markets moved, we had to manage that book. So our system was built in house, it was built by internal personnel and people who ultimately end up coming um, to NASDAQ. Uh, we basically built a 21st century um, trading system and uh, that system was competitive with anything out there. It was a combination of uh, speed, reliability, and, uh, and also it had the ability to be scalable which, uh, and it had the ability to be flexible. On the U.S. side, one of the things it had to do was introduce new products, and NASDAQ did not have any real derivatives market, it didn't have any options, and so um, we became a uh, natural fit with them as they did, uh, really, they were in the beginning of, but they really started to do a diversification process, and that diversification process has served the company well. The transaction to acquire the Philadelphia Stock Exchange gave NASDAQ an immediate footprint of almost 20% market share and equity options. And while regional exchanges have shut down and consolidated as the industry moves online, the country's oldest exchange indoors. The new home for the NASDAQ Philex is at the FMC Tower in the heart of Philadelphia. The Philadelphia options business has continued to, to grow. Uh, it's, a, it's a great trading model which does have a combination of electronic and floor. I think what keeps this business around and growing is our ability to be, be dynamic and evolve with the marketplace. So the Philex has endured largely because we have a great infrastructure that NASDAQ has, in, has interfaced with the old Philex trading floor. And, and honestly, the floor community here in Philadelphia has been exceptional. Uh, the decision was taken by executive management to uh, sign a brand new lease and come to University City in this fantastic uh, Class A building that the brand new one built. Here, with this design, it it kind of is inspirational. It, it uh, fuels creativity um, and fuels that kind of uh, impromptu interaction where the best ideas happen. We're taking brand new space and we're growing and we have become a major employer in Philadelphia. You know, we're an innovative uh, company. We're a creative company. We create great products for our clients. You, you come here, you feel energized and engaged. Data art, NASDAQ uh, combination is great for what we were trying to accomplish with our trading floor. And it's, it's fast, it is lightning fast. And so that's why we chose those technologies because they, all of the functions in the new floor broker management system happen in tiny fractions of a second. On top of that, it has to keep performing exactly the same in different market scenarios. And market scenarios are very complex. You won't find any equivalent solution that performs at the same speed. I think if you're trading in any electronic exchange, you, you have to be completely confident 
that what you expect to happen is what is happening. Today, the Philex, with the other five NASDAQ options exchanges, accounts for 40% of options trading volume. I've done just about everything from being a clerk to a specialist. I was a broker and then a trader. The clients that come to this floor are looking to transfer risk. That's the primary goal. Um, and so the, uh, the brokers and the traders uh, put together the packages that allow that risk transfer. Um, and NASDAQ has done a good job in providing that venue. They're looking for execution, is to be quick, efficient, and compliant. That's why we do, you know, 15% of the volume on most days. You know, we're, we're committed to, to build this business, whether it's retail, institutional, uh, market makers, you know, whatever it takes to continue to grow this business. Uh, we have over 40% market share, so obviously we're a leader here now in this space but there's still a lack of use of options in retail customer accounts and by RIAs, uh, wealth management divisions of um, institutions, they don't use options yet. So I think there's the opportunity to really continue to grow this business. I think we're right about at the beginning of a great era in options, which is one of the reasons that we invested by inquiring the ISC, and now we have six options exchanges. We are really fine-tuned to handle all different aspects of options trading, and I think it's at a, it's at a great time to be uh, expanding our business. The story of trading was really caught up in the spirit of 1776, and come April 5th, we celebrate 227 years. NASDAQ and Philax, a great history of trading and innovation. <music>